guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a dangle for a circle look. What we require is a 120 pound carbon coated wire or bleeding wire, it's up to you. Two crimps, as you can see over here. These are double crimps, 1 mil or 1.3 mil. I'm using solid rings. And a standard circle lock. That's a tuna circle lock, it's slightly offset, just makes better hookups possible. First of all, cut about six to eight inches of wire. Put your first crimp on. Take your solid ring through and then go into the second loop on the double crimp. Like that. Now all I'm going to do is just slide it down until it gets tight. A pair of round nose pliers and I'm going to crimp it straight down the middle. And push as hard as you want. Basically there it is there. Now depending on what length I want it to be, I'm going to slide the second one on, the second crimp on, slide it all the way down. and just measure out how big I want this dangle to be. It's going to be pretty short so that is more than enough space for it. And just let you know how big that is. From the end it's about 6 centimeters. Then I'm going to pull the tag in all the way down until I get a loop which is big enough for my circle loop to fit through. It must not be too small. It needs a little bit of movement, so it can't also be too tight. But that there is absolutely perfect for it. Round those pliers and crimp it once again. As tight as you can. A pair of side cutters and just trim it off neatly. There we go. There is the dangle. Now all I need to do is either add foam to it if need be, which at the moment I'm going to do. So I cut some now for you quickly. This is glow in the dark foam. If you shine a light on it, this will glow. You don't need to use glow in the dark foam if you're fishing during the day. But at night time, it definitely makes a big difference. Now all I'm going to do is just shape the foam the way I want it to be. Make a slit down the center of it. Like that. Open it up. Stick it in the center of the foam. And then we're just going to take some cotton and tie it up. This foam just adds, aids in uh, basically floating your bait off of the ground a bit. Especially if you're going to be making a lot of chocker baits, it definitely helps. And that is pretty much the dangle finished. You can buy them pre-made already, obviously a lot bigger, but because I'm looking to make a very small bait that I can throw far, I've made this one over here. But there we go guys, you can buy them, especially for the bigger fish.